Prior to patient connection, the bubble CPAP system should be tested. The test needs to include the humidifier, pressure relief valve, breathing circuit, patient interface, and other equipment that may be placed in the circuit. All sources of leaks, including the gas delivery passage to the patient, needs to be eliminated. First, make sure that the bubble pap valve is set at the minimum position. Next, select the appropriate oxygen concentration level for the patient. Adjust the gas flow to the assembled circuit to the desired setting. The expiratory circuit may now be connected to the bubble pap valve gas inlet. With gas flowing into the connected circuit, rotate the PAP adjustment lever to the desired level of positive airway pressure. You should see and hear the gas bubbling in the reservoir. Should no bubbling occur, check the breathing circuit for leaks and make sure the patient interface is secured at the right position. Although the Baby Plus Bubble PAP valve is accurate, to plus or minus one centimeter of water pressure, proximal airway pressure should always be confirmed at the proximal airway prior to use on a patient. The patient interface and breathing circuit can affect the accuracy of the numbers on the bubble pap valve. Hence, always make adjustments to the reservoir level to obtain the desired proximal airway pressure. After documenting that the proximal airway pressure is correct, follow the breathing circuit and patient interface manufacturer's directions for use when using their devices. After patient connection, confirm that the desired proximal airway pressure is being delivered, making any adjustments that are required. Monitoring of the Baby Plus Bubble Pap Valve is required during operation and should be done periodically, every two hours, or as required by hospital policy and procedure. This is to check system setup, water level, patient connection, and that the bubble pap valve is still bubbling.